We have one more sport to show you from yet another amazing student who, as with the tennis players and the dancers, worked really hard to learn this, using growth mindset thinking that we also need in math. This time it's Alex, who's a juggler, and he's going to explain the math of juggling to you, which is all about patterns. So juggling one ball would just mean passing one ball from hand to hand. And so that's what we're going to call a one. So then I can use that in patterns and say, this pattern which is called 771 but you can see the sevens are high and then there's a one which is a pass between the hands at the bottom. The way sight sort works is that for each different number of balls we say that one throw in that pattern represents say with five balls a five or with four balls a four and then each throw in the pattern the height of it is determined by what number we use. So for example, I might do five, three, four. And you can see that the five in the middle is the high throw, which is in a, like a ball in a five ball pattern. The three is the really small crossing one, like a ball in a three ball pattern, and the four goes out on the side. And now using that, we can make tons of more complicated, complicated patterns. So like the six ball version of that one is seven, five, six. Where the seven is in the middle, the sixes are on the side, and the five is low in the middle. Now, we also might want to know which patterns are gonna work if we just write down a random string of numbers and which ones aren't. And we can do that by seeing if the average of those numbers is the same as the number of balls. So you'll notice with 5, 3, 4, if you add all those numbers up, you get 12, divide by 3, and you get 4, which is the number of balls we're using. And if you try that with 7, 5, 6, or all these other patterns which work to juggle, as in the balls don't collide and they don't land two at once in my hand, um, all of those averages will be the same as the number of balls. We hope you found that interesting and cool to watch. Now a question. What math is involved in juggling? 